Hey y'all, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's your spoo, it's your girl, Lani. And today I made some Brussels sprouts. I know that sounds whack, like, oh my god, Brussels sprouts. No, but these Brussels sprouts are great, okay? I started eating some already. I'm sorry, I'm getting up. See, these Brussels sprouts, they have bacon and onion and mushroom. And I roasted them in the oven. And they're just delicious. Today, I want to show you guys how I made these delicious breath of rock. How I accomplished such a delicious meal. When people usually frown upon breast sprouts, I'm going to show you. Wow. All right, so I got these Brussels sprouts. I'm going to get put down in this salted boiling water because I want to blanch them first. That way they don't take a long time to oven. I got this red onion that I'm going to slice up. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. I like red onions because I like how they taste. They're a little bit milder, you know, and the color is pretty. Then I have these regular white mushrooms. You can slice yours how you want. Regular slices. I want to do mine in these little quarters or whatever. But I sliced them before the video because I wasn't even thinking it. I'm sorry. So this is how I did it. But, you know, chop them. Do whatever you want. It's just mushroom. To each his own. This is some bacon. Just regular old bacon I got. It's not thick sliced. and ain't nothing special about it. Just regular bacon. Then I'm going to get sliced up. Like medium. Kind of thin. You know. To each his own. Ooh, look at those. A little overcooked. I didn't mean to blanch them that much, but they're good. So I'm gonna get them over here to the strainer. Get them drained out. You can tell they're, little, you know, you can touch them and you can tell that they're more tender and they get a little greener when they're um, cooked. So normally I would dump this down into like an ice bath, but I didn't want to waste my ice. I only got a half a bag left and I need it. So I'm not just about to dump the Brussels sprouts in it. I'm going to use cold water. Let's go do the same thing. Now, I'm going to take those Brussels sprouts and I'm going to chop off that little piece of bark on the end and half them. So this looks better. It won't kill you if you eat it, but you know, I think it's ugly. One more. All right, and half it. Oh, look, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. All right. Ta-da! Set them to the side. In this hot skillet, I am going to dump that bacon in there. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, hear that sizzle? I'm just going to brown this up. Mm-hmm. Magic of TV. Boom. Take it out. I don't want to cook it all the way through because it still has to go in the oven. Plus, I just don't like real crispy bacon. I like bacon with texture. I don't like that bacon you bite and then it crumble. Okay, so we're going to leave that grease, that bacon fat, I mean, in the skillet. We're using it. Dump those red onions right into that skillet. I love that sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm gonna dump my chopped mushrooms right on in there with the onion. Saute those a little bit. Ah, oh, she can smell it in here. It's great. It smells really good. So now, to this same skillet of onion, mushroom, and bacon fat. I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of butter. Because butter's like bacon, you know, just makes everything better. It's great. Not too much butter. clogs your arteries, and it'll F you up bad. Careful with that butter. Yep, let's get that stirred in there, melt it a little, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't gotta wait for it to melt all the way. I'm gonna go on and dump my Brussels sprouts in. Trying to be careful not to just slide in any liquid that may have got on the bottom of that bowl. But you don't want that extra liquid. It's not necessary. It just makes things sweaty and stupid. Okay, we're gonna throw in some salt. This is regular uh, sea salt. Not usually the brand I use, but they were out of margin. So it is what it is. What is the black pepper? After that 
sea salt. I'm going to throw in some fresh black peppercorns. You can put in whatever kind of pepper you use. Like if you just got the regular pepper that's real fine or whatever, that's cool too, you know. But all pepper is not created equal, okay? I like black peppercorns because they taste fresh. You can smell them. They're, you can, they taste like pepper. I don't know. You're just going to have to do both. All right. Stir that up. Not do both. Try both. I mean, eh. Try fresh black peppercorns, you know. And then try regular pepper. And then you see which one you think is pepper. All right, get that stirred up. Yeah, get all of that stuff distributed it evenly through the, the pot. And then I'm going to throw in powder. Very good. Looks good, baby. Yeah. You can put in as much as you like. It's all to taste. Whatever you think is best. Get that tossed in there. Thank you, baby. Only thing left to go in this pot is that yummy bacon. Just stir it in. And use a slotted spoon because we got all the bacon fat in here we need. We don't need to dump no more in. Leave that in the bottom of the bowl. All right, get that bacon tossed in there. And to be honest, this dish is complete. You can eat it like this if you want. But I like to put mine in the oven and roast it a little because a roasted Brussels sprout does not taste the same as a sauteed Brussels sprout. The roasted ones is like, it has more rich flavor. It's, um, I don't know, the flavor is more complex, it's deep, it's it's delicious. I don't know. Throw a piece of cabbage in the oven and see the difference. And put one in the uh, pot. Test kitchen. Okay. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I threw that in the oven on like fold 25 or something for 25 minutes. I put 30 on there, but I took it out early and it looked beautiful. Lovely. Roasted deliciousness. I'm dead ass, so it's pretty good. I'm just gonna get it thrown onto a plate so that I can have some. <laughs> mm hmm. Great way to get your kids to eat Brussels sprouts. But if they don't eat onions and mushrooms, then, you know, no go. You know, they can, it, it doesn't fix everything all the time. <laughs> but my children, they like it. We love it. We want more of it. Oh, how pretty. Oh, how beautiful. Wow. No effort to choose his Brussels sprout. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs>